Hi guys, so today I'm going to talk about a JavaScript diff algorithm that we will be implementing in our Moodle module. I'd like to give credit to John Resig because I found this on his site at ejohn.org. Here's the basic functionality. The function takes two strings. One is the student's entire notes from a certain time let's say 10 seconds ago and another input will be the student's current en entire current notes we'll send both these inputs into the JavaScript function and the results will be this as you can see the, um, the, the things he took out were are, are crossed out and the things he added in are underlined so it handles adds and remo um, adds and edits Here's the code. It's, or part of it, it's very pretty and very complicated. And here's the rest of it. Yeah, this is very complicated, so that's why we didn't write it ourselves. Um, some advantages of using this is that one there's just too many ways to edit and add notes such as backspace delete insert cut highlight or even just typing um, another advantage would be that uh, we would store less no less lines in the database and uh, uh, space costs money and that'd be less money and of course th uh, this is also less workload for the server because it would have to spend less time looking up uh, lines and uh, more time not crashing. Um, another advantage, JavaScript is client-side, so there would be less workload for the server. Yeah. Um, another advantage, we can measure notes frequency using volume per time, se time segment which means that we'll be able to generate one of those uh, d notes density bars. Um, and the, another advantage is that we'll be able to make a, a real-time tag cloud that changes itself every time, at every time segment interval. And we're already uh, working on that one. Disadvantages. Um, one disadvantage I thought of was that uh, because we're storing only one note or one entry per student, there's no way for us to keep track of notes at each time step. That means uh, that means when a vi when a student goes back to view the video, he won't be he won't be able to see notes taken other students' notes taken at that time step or that time segment. Uh, we thought of a solution for seeing his own notes by storing his own notes on his computer. All right, that's all for the Java di Java JavaScript diff function. Yeah. Thanks.